Hello and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to like this video because that not only helps with the algorithm but it also lets me know that you like what we're doing over here and then I'll do more of it. Quick announcement, we are so close to hitting 800 subscribers. I think we're like 52 people away, so that's really, really awesome. Once we hit 800 subscribers, we're going to be doing a super special live art stream where I'm going to be drawing stuff for you guys. So make sure you share, make sure you subscribe if you're not yet, and uh, yeah. Now then, Serena, if you would tell us of the trial we must undertake, then we might participate in the Nadam. Ah yes, as I mentioned before, to be recognized as warriors of the steppe, one must follow in the footsteps of the legendary warrior Bardon. He embarked on a great pilgrimage, eschewing cart and horse, and walked for many moments until he came to a holy place, thereafter named Bardon's Metal. There, at the altar, as he did, you must pray. The altar lies deep within the breeding grounds of the Yule. To complete your trial, you must tame one. Only then will your trial be complete. Fair enough. And where's the entrance to Bardom's Metal? We must journey far, far to the west, beyond Chakazal, where lie the bones of a great and wise woman. Beyond the ruins of Seol Ain, hidden within the mountains, is a narrow pass. Follow it and you will come to Bardom's Metal. Sounds to me like it'll be a trial just getting to the trial. More than you may know, on the eve of the Nandam, many strive to improve their fortunes, some by abducting and enslaving the warriors of other tribes. Be ever mindful of your surroundings, lest you be taken as well. Not. Ha! What grim expressions you wear while nodding so powerfully. Warriors such as you are not like to fall and erupt to a mere rite of passage. You don't know me. We shall proceed with all due caution, yes, but let us not worry over much. We will overcome this trial and the next and the next until we stand triumphant. That is all there is to it, no? With me, my friends, to the west, to Barnum's Metal. Well, wait! Hid! Oh dear, I knew you. I would forget. <laughs> Here, take these whistles. Once tamed, your yawn will hearken to their call. Thanks. We'll try them out once we finish the trial. Let's catch up to Hien and Gosetsu. We still have a long way to go, but I think I can see that monument Serena talked about. I don't see Hien or Gatsetsu, though. We should hurry. Hey, I don't know about you, but I can't shake the feeling someone's watching us. Serena did warn us about tribes that kidnap warriors and make them fight for them. Something tells me we're about to meet them. You're imagining things, you worry wart. Ah, there you are. As you can see, they left us little toys. I gather you were forced to dispatch a few yourself. So it goes. A few less warriors to face in the Nadam, eh? So your aid is not much further. That said, I should be surprised if our would-be masters do not try to subdue us one final time. Right. This must be the pass that leads to Bardom's Metal. Perhaps you do not hail from these lands, but your forefathers did. You do the honor to carry on their legacy this day. To complete the trial, we must pass through Bardom's Metal and each tame a yole. How precisely we are to do this, I am not sure, but since countless warriors before us have succeeded, I imagine we'll muddle through somehow. But enough talk, we have an Adam to win.
Oh well, yeah, okay, that's fun. You who have become warriors of the step. Our trial is upon you. What? But we were already doing the trial. A new status of function. Wonderful. Uh... Wait, what? I still have another kit? I thought I failed. I didn't fail that! Okay! I definitely thought I failed that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh good, okay, we beat it. Awesome. <laughs> it's getting nervous. Sorry if you uh, hear voices in the background. People in the kitchen. <laughs> she's so cute when she's happy. Where was this guy the whole time? Well fought back there, Burr. Things got hairy at times when I knew we'd manage. Oh, right. I still got those whistles Serena gave me. Here's yours. I suppose we ought to give them a try, like she said. We've won them over. That one there is yours, right? The other one is mine. Aww. You guys don't get any. So that's that then. We're officially warriors of the step. Cool. Well, we've done what we came to do. Let's head back to more Ilo. That massive monstrosity was quite the surprise, was it not? Who knew that the step held such secrets? And with that, there is naught left to prevent us from taking part in the Nardom. Yea, you who have walked Bardom's metal, newborn warriors of the steppe, our Han demands an audience. You will come. I remember those clothes. He's Oranir, isn't he? What should we do? Ordinarily, I would politely decline, but this may be an opportunity to assess their strength. And we do have some time before the Nardom begins. If it all goes to plan, they will be fighting for us soon enough. What say you? Shall we go and greet our comrades to be? Whatever happens, we shouldn't keep Siren and the others waiting. Let's be ready to make a swift exit, all right? We accept Johan's generous invitation. Lead the way. So I guess we know what this is now. <laughs> Do 
two banners. So it's not just Oranir we're dealing with. Oh, snap. Most radiant brother Magni, we have brought the ones you seek. He looks happy. You conquered Bardem's metal. As warriors of the Mole, I. You were the Han here, yes? Why have you summoned us? Mayhap to propose a joint endeavor? Nay, Doman, we shall not speak as equals. Born of the sun are Oranir, and born of the earth are you. Let me plug my controller in real quick, sorry. When I learned of trespassers, I bade my warriors take their measure to flay them if they failed. But if by the grace of Azim they should survive their trials and emerge anointed, then bring them hither to pay tribute. Tribute, should it prove satisfactory, shall earn you the favor of the sun. His beloved shall bask in his radiance, and their supplications be duly considered. So you want us to bow down and serve you? What if we don't feel like it? The Defiant will suffer in shadow. It would be an affront to the resplendent Azim himself to refuse this generous offer when by rights you should be condemned. But in lieu of tribute, swear fealty to the sun. Pledge to him your body and soul. Promise to serve him unto death, and you may know his glory. A generous offer granted to but few, though perchance this is too merciful. Hmm. It seems our brothers of the Budaga want you. The men only. Like the Borlak and women. Though you know them not either, I'm sure. No matter. All you need know is that you will serve, one way or another. That much does indeed seem plain. However, as we are but newborn warriors who know little of your customs, we struggle to conceive of ways in which we might be of service to the most gracious and illustrious son. You make mock of us, Doman. Do not do so again. Oh. Easy, Tiger. You will be given a task. It will be difficult. You will carry it out. When you have accepted this, you may ask me what it is. I guess we don't have an option, do we? Were I Budaga, I might take offense. But I know better than to, to dismiss a woman outright. You demonstrate boldness or recklessness. Time will tell. The Nadab approaches and the Oronir will reign supreme once more. Such is the will of Father Azim. Yet only fools think to triumph by the grace of the gods alone, and we are not fools. Your task will be to aid us in our preparations. Vatu will tell you the rest. <laughs> so quirky. So huge.
warriors of the steppe, by the grace of our most radiant brother, you will not die this day, but instead be granted an opportunity to contribute to our cause. Rejoice, for this is a great honor indeed. Serve well, and you will be rewarded. Question. You keep calling Magda your most radiant brother. You're not related or something, are you? <laughs> All Orly are descendants of Father Azim, but if you mean to ask if our mothers are one and the same, then no. The most radiant is the elder brother to a younger, the strongest and most deserving of respect. No more interruptions. Your duties are as follows. You, the red woman, you will milk our beasts. To grow strong, one must be well fed, and we have great need of kumis and cheese. Lady in red. Is that it? I mean, I'm not happy about all this, but I suppose I could go along for now. You, the one who lumbers as a mountain. Hmm, an old warrior, I see. We have arms and armor in need of repair. Go and speak with our menders. I have no talent for delicate work, but if that is your wish, then so be it. You, the insolent fool. As for you... This one carries the fire. The Buddha would take his measure. Seek my comrade outside tending to the stores. He will give you your task. You will know him by his cloth. Unlike they of the yellow, we are of the green. I, for one, would welcome the opportunity to learn more of the Buddha and their ways. It would be an honor. <laughs> we shall speak of your task outside. With me. Oh, I don't get a funny descriptor. <laughs> your name, Forder. Burthen. You are to dive into Azim Khat, below the dawn throne, and gather sword grass from the lake bed. It is an invaluable ingredient in my many medicines. Eight bundles will you bring. You will need to dive deep down to obtain that which you seek, but that shall pose no trouble for a true, ro true warrior, no? Some say that the dominion of the dawn feather and the dusk mother does not extend beneath the water, but our worst does. Indeed, the orator fear caught. Fear not above nor below. Speak with the guard to descend. We shall speak again when you have finished. She returns, and with sword grass in hand. That you would immerse yourself in the depths is a testament to your bravery. Well done. Lest you wonder, we will use it to prepare potions to induce paralysis. In the Nadam, we must use every means at our disposal to delay our foes. Trude. He who inscribes his deeds upon the sacred ground shall be declared the victor. However, none may know this place until the Garl have scattered the soil. It matters not. We shall be swift as stallions and fierce as Barris. The step will be ours once more. Your tribute is accepted. We will return to the most radiant, and you may beg a boon. Beg a boon. Whose boons? Your boons? Am I to understand you have completed your tasks? I know not what yours was, but mine was surprisingly simple. They bade me carry various goods and sundries from storehouse to storehouse. Alas, it was difficult to learn much with all the Buddhaga swarming around me. You dove deep into the waters to harvest sword grass. I see that as well. Most radiant brother Magni, we have given you tribute, as demanded. Were we to beg leave to depart with our comrades, would you consent? We never intended to press you into our service, and tribute offered in good faith cannot be denied. To grant you not in return would be an affront to Father Azim. However, the boon must be proportional to the supplications. What you ask far exceeds what you have earned. Oh my god. Freaking kidding me. Then, if we must remain here, would you at least permit us to learn more of your people and your ways? <laughs> Tabul and Katun taught me but a fraction, you see. 
How this world born of the gods was to be their battlefield, their creations to fight in their stead. How Azim, father of the dawn, he who birthed the sun, and Nalma, mother of the dusk, she who birthed the moon, made the Ara. Yet those these children warred for a time, eventually they laid down their arms and came to love one another. And so the gods bequeathed this world to their children and ascended to the heavens whence they came. Those born of the dawn father were called the rain, and those born of the dusk mother were called the Zayla. So it was and ever after. But I say to you, brother Magni, how can this be? How can Oridir be the children of Azim if they are Zayla born of Nama? <laughs> you amuse me, Doman. How you wield your ignorance as a weapon. Very well, I bid you speak with our elders and learn the truth of this world. I know what you're thinking, and yes, I could probably have convinced him to let us go had I handled that differently, but then we would have learned naught for our troubles. If there is one thing I know, it is that men of faith yearn to share it with others. <laughs> and in learning more of their beliefs, we may learn more of other things, things which may prove useful in the Nanam. When I was carrying out my tasks, I met an elder, a storyteller, named Udutai. Mayhap he could be our teacher. <laughs> Greetings, I trust all of our little explorers are safely accounted for. Whoa, look Whoa! That they are. My thanks to you, Dolman. Now, you had questions for me. Aye, I would know more of the Oradir, of their creation, and of Father Azim. As you wish, come, let us sit. Before we begin, tell me, what do you know of the Aura and how they came to be? <laughs> yes, yes, a common tale, one believed by many tribes, but what do does not mention is this, Azim and Nama were lovers. <gasps> Oh, they fought in the beginning, as did their creations, that much is true. But when they saw how the Zayla and the rain rose above their hatreds and joined hands in harmony, their hearts stirred, and the love their children shared became theirs as well. Alas, he was of the sun and she of the moon. Apart they must remain, lest day and night cease to be, and within them all creation. With sadness in their hearts, they returned to the heavens, he to the day, she to the night, destined to walk before and after, never to meet. As time passed, Azim's yearning for his beloved grew deeper still. Was there truly not that could be done, he wondered. At last he knew. If the father cannot be with the mother, then he shall go amongst her children, now and ever after. So it was that Azim took a fragment of his being and with it fashioned an avatar. Clad in scale of midnight, he descended and sought out to the Zayla. Yes, he was the first Oradir. We are of his flesh and his blood. We are the children of Azim, and it is our duty to watch over and keep the Zayla safe. I confess, I did not expect the tale of your people's beginnings to be quite so romantic. Yet I must ask, if it is your duty to defend the Zayla, how can you go to war with them in the Nadam? Is that not a contradiction? If a father disciplines his son, does that mean there is no love in his heart? Zayla are not wont to kneel. They must be made to. Only then will they he heed reason. I see. Such is the way of the step. Thank you, Elder, for sharing us with, your, with us your wisdom. Eager to depart, ere you go, you would do well to hear the end of my tale. When Nawa looked down and saw the avatar of Azim, she knew him at once and shed tears of love and longing. When they struck the earth, they rose anew as a counterpart to the Ordir, their fates entwined. So you see, for every son of Azim is a daughter of Nama, for whom we must search, even now. So romantic! Mayhap I am being overly optimistic, but I sense that these Ordir may prove loyal allies to Doma under the right circumstances. Their arrogance is rooted in the belief that they must act as caretakers of all Zayla. Therefore, if we can prove to them that we come as kindred spirits seeking to defeat a common foe. But mayhap this is a discussion for after we win the Nadam. Come, let us return to Magni. Whom, you shine with the light of newfound wisdom. Could it be that you have at last accepted the supremacy of the sun? No matter. 
You have each completed your task to prove yourself deserving of mercy. However, if it is freedom you desire, then there is one more thing you must do. Ugh, of course. Pity you will not pledge yourselves to the sun. You might have proved useful in the coming now done. Nevertheless, I will permit you to return and fight for the bull. Their cause is futile, with or without your assistance. However, you must first complete a final task, as was my decree. Sky man. You will reconnoiter the encampment of the Dotharl. Reconnoiter? For this task, two will go and two will remain. Should the two who embark upon this expedition choose to flee or be captured or killed by the Dotharl, then the others will be taken as slaves and serve the sun unto death. We'd better not fail then, eh? The question is, who should we send? That is not for you to decide. <laughs> all of you have conquered Bardom's metal and proven yourselves warriors of the steppe. You should all be equally capable of carrying out this task, and therefore you should have no objections. <laughs> the face. Brother Magni, a word. The Buddha require that a hostage be male, for if these ones fail, we cannot accept a woman as a slave. Therefore, we choose the Firewalker, the one they call Hien. Shall be it. I shall choose second. I doubt either of you are the moon I seek, but stranger tales have been told, and men are of no use to me. I don't know what this moon stuff is that he's going on about, but I don't like the sound of it. At all. No, of course not. The woman I seek is of the dusk, a gentle, ethereal maiden, a dancer in the morning mist. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. You are warriors of the steppe, fierce and brutal, conquerors of magic stone and steel. Ethereal you are not. Ah, well, how your tasks befitted you both. Jeez. But since I must choose, I choose you. You did well milking the sheep. They took a liking to you, I am told. Go set to and burr, then. I had hoped to see these undying ones for myself, but it seems as it was not meant to be. Dothal Ka lies far to the south, where the grass turns to sand. Return with valuable knowledge, and all will be free to rejoin the mole. Now go. Have no fear, my friend. We shall see them freed soon enough. Let us quit this place and speak of our plans outside. Should be fun. Tis plain they hope we will never return. I shall enjoy disappointing them. According to my map, there is a colossal wreck to the south which would provide a vantage point from which to survey Dothar Ka from afar. Let us go and do just that. Over there, look, those men are in danger. Oh. Gah, too late for the one, perhaps, but there is yet time to save the other. Come, we cannot abandon him to his fate. What's this guy doing getting eaten by sand yetis? I, I owe you my life. Nay, friend, think nothing of it. I but wish we had come sooner. Oh, I knew it once he was dead. It will come as scant comfort, I fear, but I slew the beast responsible. Nay. There is no way for a Darth Arl to die. What is this? Who are these outsiders? Aha! Uh -huh. Who's this? <laughs> She's so cute. Satu Katun, forgive me. We were returning from our hunt when we were caught unawares by Manza Siri. These ones saved me, but Kesser is. Oh. 
Who are you? Why have you come? Not to cross the sands, that much is certain. I have heard tales of travelers in league with another tribe. Are you they? Who do you serve? Answer me. If I may begin to answer your questions before you ask more. <laughs> we are friends of the bull, and we are come to see the strength of the Dothar for ourselves. The bull? The little lambs who wander to and fro at the behest of their gods? <laughs> what fools you are to share the soil of such weaklings. Next you will tell me you wish to fight in the Nandam. Ah, so you do. Ha! <laughs> that is unexpected, yet not unwelcome. I am Sadu, Katuna the Dalthara. For your deeds I grant you leave to walk among us. Come, look at our glory and despair. We fear no tribe, least of all the bull. Though, if you were of the Ornier, I would burn the flesh from your bones here and now. <laughs> you consent, yes? See to the corpse. Ye yes, Katu. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel we are aiming for 1k so we're almost there also if you are new and you haven't yet please subscribe uh we have a discord link that is very very fun that link will be in the description underneath this video and i also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well and also i do have a patreon if you're interested that link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh to support the channel so i can be here and do more stuff with you guys all right from uh, all of us to all of you <laughs> bye